Grammy-winning recording artist Coffee hosted a private listening event for her upcoming debut album Gifted on Saturday night. The event, powered by Amazon Music, was held in Irish Town and saw specially invited industry players, socialites, celebrities and media in attendance as Coffee previewed tracks from her upcoming album. It's the best opportunity to come out to support somebody that you really, really rate, you know? Yeah, it was beautiful. First of all, she sounded amazing. So that is, first and foremost, her voice was crisp, clean, pristine. I feel like when you can hear something for the first time and you bop along with it and you feel the vibe to it, you know, it's some really good music. So it's called Gifted for a reason because the story, the storytelling, the sound, everything is a portrayal of a young, gifted black woman, Coffee. I think this is our next Grammy project, you know? In an interview with RETV, Coffee shared the details on the naming of the album, Gifted. So it's like, you know, my first EP, Raptor. You notice there's a song named Raptor and an EP named Raptor. So I was just creating, like, you know, the songs I'm going along. And when I finished writing Gifted and decided it was going to be on the album, I feel like the vibe just fit and the, that's the message I want to push. So. <laughs> It's 10 songs and pretty much you start out your day nice and, you know, slow, very grateful. And then you get in a kind of little same slow, love jammy vibe, which is new for me, I think. After lockdown, these are like my two, you know, like I'm, I'm going further into that expression of just, you know, affection and romance. Gifted is slated for release March 25 by Sony Music UK and RCA Records. Now, Coffee is also scheduled to embark on an accompanying tour beginning April in the United States. Chart-topping music producer and recording artist Russian continues to reap the benefits from his collaborative effort, Nostalgico. The hit song, which features Puerto Rican rapper Raul Alejandro and R&B singer Chris Brown, was certified five times Platinum Latin by the Recording Industry Association of America. This comes after the track has sold over 300,000 units. Nostalgico marks Russian's fifth RIAA certified single. He previously received certifications for writing on the Wall by French Montana featuring Post Malone and Cardi B. The track also topped the Billboard Latin charts. Nostalgica boasts over 53 million views on YouTube. American rapper Nas is being sued by famed photographer Al Pereira for posting a photograph on social media without permission or licensing. The ICANN rapper will be heading to the federal court over the photo of him and late rapper Tupac Shakur and rapper Redman, which he shared in 2020. The picture was taken outside Club Amazon in 1993. Pereira is suing for damages as well as an injunction against Nas for using his work. Back in 2017, he sued sisters Kylie and Kendall Jenner for unlawful use of photographs he took of rap icons. Tupac back and the notorious B.I.G. The lawsuit followed their attempt to use the photos as part of a clothing line. I'm Deidre and Gordon reporting for E-Prime.